My name is Anthony Allen, welcome to my YouTube channel, Anthony Allen Edits, the YouTube channel that is about all things editing and teaching you and talking about all things editing so that you can tell the stories that you would like to tell in the way that you would like to tell them with full creative control. And here in this video, we're going to be talking about a plugin that is available at johnbillu.com. The plugin is called Photo Table. It looks great, but we're going to see how it works and the capabilities of the plugin here in this video so that you can make a decision on the plugin and give your thoughts and opinions at the end of the video. So with that said, let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so the plugin that we're having a look at in this video is called Photo Table, and it's available at johnbilu.com. Bilu spelled B-E-L-E-W.com. And here on the purchase page, you can see that it costs $29. You can obviously share this page on your Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. You, all you have to do is basically add it to your cart and once you've added it to your cart you can then check out to purchase your plugin then you will have some installation instructions in on how to install the plugin correctly. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to have a look at this generator within Final Cut Pro 10 and see what capabilities are available with this plugin. Without further ado let's get into Final Cut Pro 10 to see photo table in action. Okay so here we are within Final Cut Pro 10. I've imported a picture of myself on a beach and an inspector window i have a preview window and i have the generators open where i've searched for and found quite easily because it's quite a few of them the photo table generator i'm not going to open up the effects panel or the transitions throughout this whole tutorial or first look uh, because there's just no need we're having a look at how the plugin works and the capabilities so as you can see there are various movements attached to the generators that you can drag into the timeline you've got dolly in which if you know about dollies it's basically a thing that moves on a track or a dolly that can move forward and out and basically sort of uh, uh, have a movement forward and out uh, you have a pan which is basically a turning movement and you have a roll in which is basically rolling in from the right rolling in from the left and so forth so if we preview dolly out it is moving outwards if we preview dolly in it is moving inwards so that is the movement of the shot you also have the roll in and roll out to the right or to the left so i'm going to drag this into the timeline that's basically how it would work and then that should populate our inspector window so yes it's populated our inspector window you want to move the cursor on top of the shot so we can have a preview of what's going on and the changes that we're making now there are on-screen controls that you can drag and move so you can change the position of these photos these individual photos but what we're going to have a look at is what happens when we populate the media source so i'm going to click on the first media source and then i'm going to click on my picture of myself at the beach as one and we're going to do it to the second and as you can see the difference in color from the original shot to the sort of color graded finish effect uh, is slightly different there's a slight uh, brown uh, tint to match the background there we're going to add the second shot in and we're going to click apply now the background still has those placeholders so let's see if we can find those as well and we can each and every single place in the, within the background can be a media source and you can add your media sources to the background as well which is absolutely brilliant these are individual you know uh, placeholders here and there's there's quite a lot you can actually do there there's quite a lot of different pictures that you can add uh, to really showcase your pictures within this one movement and very easily you've created a a way that you can showcase your pictures in a unique way within Final Cut Pro here uh, using this plugin it, de it definitely 100% does save you time because if you was to individually place these pictures in the background give it a blur and then add the others on top to make it into a compound la layer and then try to uh, create the movement it would take you quite a lot of time and one of the things I do say about plugins here on this channel is a plugin is supposed to either save you time or solve a problem and in this case it actually does solve your problem by saving you time in creating this effect with the different individual movements uh, for this uh, plugin uh, and this desired effect and look so what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to delete my media source that we do not need now we have other controls that we have here in our inspector and more that we can do with this effect to get the desired 
look that we're after for example the motion you can change the nature of the motion for example you can accelerate which means it will speed up towards the end decelerate to so it will slow or slow slow down towards the end or you've got the constant movement so it stays at the exact same speed throughout the whole entire movement of that shot you can add a, 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 a decrease the background blur if, you, if that's what you would like, um, that's quite interesting. You can uh, background saturate, so you can give it some more colours in the background. That's also very interesting. You've got the border width, so there's border widths of the each and individual photos. You can make this wider. Um, what else have you got? You've got your dolly in and out, so obviously you can stretch the dolly movement uh, um, in and out there. Uh, you've got the light intensity so obviously there's a slight as you can see there's a spotlight here on this uh, effect here you can actually turn that light up uh, right there you can see it just changes the look of the shot there you've got the fall off so obviously there's a fall off on the outside of the image uh, and what else have we got we've got scale we've got quite a lot to play around with here considering this is only one of these uh, uh, effects uh, a type of this effect that we get here uh, when you make your purchase so there's quite a lot to go on and quite a lot to have a look at and you have quite a lot of different parameters that you can play around with after purchasing this but the border color is actually up above um, so if we change this now to a green you'll see that that is the border color to undo that you just actually just press ctrl and z or you can go up to the top i'm going to press ctrl and z i mean the light color you can change as well so you can, you can bring up the, uh, the gradients here you can change the color of the light that is being cast upon the pictures i mean it had a good it had a good color to begin with to be honest but that that's a that's a lot to actually play around with uh considering that this is a one-time purchase and as i say with plugins it is there to save you time or solve an issue so i'm going to let this render now i'm going to let it render out and then we're going to have a look at the final finished piece okay so let's press play on this and see what the final result is of just using this one one of the panels here one of the uh, type of effects of photo table that we have given to us let's go Nice and easy, absolutely brilliant, definitely well worth a download, especially if you have a lot of pictures to showcase. As I said, there are quite a few different uh, panels that you get here. These, these are just the ones that I found having a look for uh, uh, once I've downloaded the plugin. Again, it just takes a little bit of a search in your generators to find your photo table effects so you can drag them in as a generator and use them. So photo table, now that you've seen the plugin in action and we've had a look at it here on Anti Island Edits, what are your thoughts and opinions on that plugin? Is it worthwhile? Is it just something that's gonna clog up dust on your CPU and just take up your CPU? Is it something that you think is worthwhile purchasing or having a look at? We want to know these things down in the comment section down below here on Anthony Island Edits because you are a valid part of this community. Without you, there is no channel. So your thoughts and opinions are worthwhile we want to know so comment down below with what you think of this plugin and also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell i upload here on my youtube channel every single day for you so that i can help you with your editing in whatever shape or form whether it's an asset whether it's something new that you haven't seen before whether it's a technique we talk about it here on anthean and edits so that you can learn and take away and make the most of this YouTube channel and get the most out of this YouTube channel so that you will ultimately become an editing genius. You will have everything that you need in order to create what you need to create. Now with that said, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video that'll be coming up right now, straight after the, this video, and three, two, one, go. And I'll see you in the next video that'll be coming up right now, straight after this video. I'll see you in that one. Oh, 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 oh